menstruation has always been and still is taboo. Since ancient times, women have been demonized every 28 days. You probably think I'm exaggerating, but let me tell you what Pliny the Elder wrote in the first century about menstruating women. They sour wine, drive dogs mad, and even blunt knives just by looking at them. We can try to justify this saying it was long time ago, but nowadays, in Nepal, women are still fighting against the tradition of being locked while they have their period. But why exclude us from society? Why consider us bewitched instead of trying to understand the phenomena that lies behind menstruation? We, menstruating women, are among the most splendid examples of self-regeneration seen in nature. Once a month, we shed two-thirds of the endometrium and scarlessly regenerate it again. Just consider that for a moment. Without any medical assistance, a wound is bad in any other part of the body but the endometrium would probably cause death. Can you imagine losing two-thirds of a hand and in no more than five days regenerating it with no trace of scars? And what's more, what if after centuries of stigmatization, women had in our power the most valuable weapon to fight against diseases that still doesn't have a cure? In my thesis, I'll try to unravel the effects that a certain cell population isolated from menstrual blood might have on the immune system, a system that protects us against bacteria, viruses, or even cancer. By testing the injection of these cells in mice that have undergone some kind of inflammation, we have learned how these cells behave against the disease. We have discovered that they establish a dialogue with the immune system, convincing it not to react disproportionately against certain signals. From signals as simple as the inhalation of pollen to something as complex as a heart transplant. Understanding the role of these cells in modulating inflammation can help us to discover novel ways to treat diseases which nowadays are difficult to keep under control. After centuries of silence, of taboo, it is time to defend menstruation, not only as a fundamental process for human reproduction, but also as a secret weapon, a tool of healing. Thank you.